Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, even Jesus the Lord we worship and thank you even for this opportunity. And um, all right today I will tackle one man of God deceased, even T B a Joshua, a prophet, a preacher, a minister of the Lord. But uh, this uh, man of God, though he is deceased, um, what I believe his bones are trembling in this grave because right now uh, it's disgraced. And even the members he left behind, the ministers he left, even um, his wife, um, Evelyn, uh, Joshua, and uh, uh, their kids. Now they are in shame. Uh, they are in a hard place. And what can we say to these uh, false prophets who have lied, who have stage managed even miracles uh, for money, for fame? And Jesus Christ, he did not anoint them even to perform any miracle. There were liars, but one of the shocking findings is um, uh, there were people within this church even supporting these evil people, and they still go on to support uh, the false prophets and the false prophetess across Africa and even. Uh, in in Americas and other countries, but uh, one uh, of the uh, core teachings of the Christianity, even from uh, the days when our Lord was on earth, is uh, uh, what you do <laughs> during uh, dark times or at night. It will be exposed during the day. And T.P. Joshua. When uh, first uh, I heard him uh, through the media, the social media, I knew, or oh, I saw he was anointed man of God. I can say it was around uh, 2018. Uh, but uh, I do remember uh, in mid 2019 when one woman, a Bissola, a Bissola from Nigeria, she used to be a part of uh, women uh, who are living at East Church, even at the synagogue of all nations. Uh, she came with allegations um, uh, to be Joshua, uh, sleeps with us, sleeps uh, also with me. He, he has been raping uh, women and the young women. He was pretending that uh, he was helping them from across the world, from America, from Europe. And uh, I remember one uh, from South Africa, he used to, to sleep with them. And what shocked me uh, in that 2019 expose by Bin Sola is uh, he used to um, um, make a service. He is preaching. After one hour, he goes, he sleeps with a woman to come and uh, uh, perform the miracles. That shocked me. But later, this woman returned to this same uh, uh, <laughs> false prophet. Uh, um, I don't know, they claimed that they had exorcised demons from her and whatever she had uh, even said or um, even um, uh, uh, spoken uh, through uh, several podcasts uh, on YouTube and Facebook, they were all lies and uh, she apologized and said it was uh, a demon using her. Then later when she came with the same story, she confused me and many Christians across the world. But uh, today, T.B. Joshua indeed did all these things. He has um, uh, committed these atrocities against women. And uh, right during the day, you are, you are saying you are saved, you are worshipping Jesus Christ. And not only this, this is T.B. Joshua, false prophet. There are many in Africa, they are doing these things. And the people within these churches or houses of God, they know these things, they support them. When you, you, you talk any negativity and the truthfulness against these people, they can even um, beat you. Even they can organize you being killed. Because you know what? When the truth comes out, they won't receive uh, millions of donations uh, from all over the world sent to these uh, false uh, prophets. Oh, it's very sad. 
But uh, right now, this is uh, January 2024, and uh, I feel truly expose. <laughs> has been released by the BBC. It's a three-part expose. And uh, one, um, one is um, uh, 50 minutes, we can say, all of them. 50 minutes, three of them. Uh, so those are 100 and uh, around 54 minutes exposing uh, this deceased, uh, disgraced uh, man of God. TB Joshua, for those who don't know him, he rose from uh, poverty, I can say, late 80s, or um, we can say in 90s, coming with this uh, charisma and knowledge of the word and the stage managing uh, miracles. <laughs> the lame walking and um, <laughs> the blind seeing and even uh, 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 saying that he needed money donations to help uh, the, the, the poverty stricken and the less fortunate. So his, his church went on because of his televangelism, went on uh, to be part of millions, millions of supporters and watchers across the world supporting him day and night. And then the synagogue of all nations, even his mega church in Lagos. It was um, being visited by thousands, not millions, we can say per year. So we can uh, even uh, count um, the tourists who visit Kenya, there are two million per year. Maybe that uh, score, and we can say, synagogue of all nations, and millions of people. They used to watch him across the world on Facebook, on YouTube, and also on D DSTV, um, his television channel, even known as uh, Emmanuel TV. Um, but what he has done uh, to people now who are shedding tears, uh, it, see, it's very sad. And he's is, is a man of God whom uh, thousands, uh, let's say millions of Christians across the world, they used to respect him, to say he was really anointed. Um, he died in 2021, month of June, but the cause of his death is hidden. They never went uh, even official um, to say what killed him, even his wife or family. They just say he went to be the Lord in heaven. But we can see this lie to be Joshua with all what his victims are saying. Many being women, I used to rape them. They were wearing abortions. This kids not to be seen because they were kids, they were under it. So um, he started raping them when they were uh, uh, 17 years, uh, below 18 years, which is a legal age in Kenya and the uh, many countries of this world. So um, T.B. Joshua is in, in hell. He went on even to try uh, to, uh, <laughs> by leaving legacy that he wrote and it is what's inspired. It's a, it's a kind of a special Bible where you should read his book or use that inspired book instead of the true Gospels and the Bible written by Moses and the prophets and apostles. Come with your own. Don't you see? That is already a satanism. And then his cult is <laughs> out now. Go Google, go in the YouTube, and uh, because um, the title by BBC Expose, uh, Expose is titled uh, TB Joshua, <laughs> TB Joshua Cult, <laughs> TB Joshua Disciples. That's a cult of TB Joshua. Go on and uh, just type on YouTube a cult of TB Joshua Disciples. And uh, you'll watch this uh, part one, this part two, this part three. And uh, when, when you'll see um, those victims, you see what? It, it's just demoralizing and uh, hurting the name and the body of Christ. You see, because uh, enemies of Christ across the world, now they'll be cheering. They're in jubilation. Just see these Christians. 
they, they follow lies. They, they donate and support people who are harming and hurting, you see, uh, uh, people within the society. How can you be a preacher of God? You have your own kids and you are raping kids of other people. Even if they are coming from far countries, this is not Christianity. It is uh, Satanism. And this cult and the other cults within Africa, I pray if God hears prayers, O oh Lord Father, let even fire come from heaven and burn these cults of uh, the deception. We've seen in recent Kenya, there's a, a guy called uh, Mackenzie, where um, the, within this cult he did lie uh, to more than 500 people to fast and not to eat food, but to bring money and uh, other possessions to him. He did not fast. And more than 500 people within the Kenyan coastal area, even um, in Kilifi, they died. And he is still living. Uh, right now he is in jail. I know he's fighting, he's using powerful people uh, to win. But he is the same, like this TB Joshua. He is deceased, but right now his bones are trembling in his grave. And uh, I do believe the fire which Jesus Christ did tell us and the apostles and the prophets <laughs> is upon him now. He's suffering. Suffering. He can disgrace the body of Christ, but Christianity is there, will be there until Jesus comes again. Uh, these uh, false prophets, uh, Christ, Christ did tell us in this book of St. Matthew chapter 24. So this is uh, not a new thing. Uh, this is not a new thing. And let him even uh, rot in hell. He, he did uh, 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 atrocities to Christians by lies, demanding uh, miracles, and uh, he himself he knew he, 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 he wasn't even anointed. Oh Christ, save thy people, save Christians, oh Lord, oh, save. And um, what has happened to T.B. Joshua? This is a warning to all false prophets and the false prophetess especially in this Kenya country and all Africa. May you receive everlasting, and this everlasting shame be upon you, you false prophets and pro false prophetess, you and your families, even till you die. As prophesied by Prophet Jeremiah in this book, chapter 23, verse 40, that God will give everlasting reproach and a perpetual shame.